Good afternoon. Thank you so much for coming in, and thank you for your service. Um, Dr. Hill, you stated in your deposition you've been accused of being a mole for George Soros in the White House, correct? That's correct. Um, you said in your deposition, specifically, um, a conspiracy was launched against you by convicted felon Roger Stone on the show Infowars, led by Alex Jones, right? I don't think he was a convicted felon at the time that he launched this, so I didn't use those exact words. But it was indeed Roger Stone and Alex Jones on Infowars in 2017. And in fact, just more recently, before uh, Mr. Stone uh, was um, uh, endured his trial, uh, they were at it again, reprising the same uh, Infowars video and adding embellishments. And they said, uh, I'll, I'll quote what they said about you. We here at Infowars, this is Roger Stone speaking, first identified Fiona Hill, the globalist leftist George Soros insider who had infiltrated McMaster's staff. Mm -hmm. He said that on May 31st, 2017. Um, I presume you're not a globalist, leftist, Soros insider, correct? I think my coal mining family would be very surprised to hear all of these things about me. I agree. Actually, leftist, perhaps not so much, but, you know, anyway, the left in Europe is a bit different from the left here, let's put it that way. I agree. Um, interestingly, um, you stated in your deposition that a similar conspiracy theory had actually been launched against Marie Yovanovitch. That's correct. Um, and you said specifically, when I saw this happening to Ambassador Yovanovitch, again, I was furious because this is, again, just this whipping up of what is frankly an anti-Semitic conspiracy theory about George Soros to basically target nonpartisan career officials. Isn't that what you said? I did say that, yes. And um, I'm sure you've been watching uh, with concern what's happened to other nonpartisan <laughs> career officials. We had Alex... Lieutenant Colonel Alex Vindman, an American immigrant, questioned uh, for his um, uh, criticism of the president uh, in, a, in a very unfair way, you know, basically questioning his loyalty to the country. I believe that he's also of Ukrainian Jewish descent. Would you say that these different theories, these conspiracy theories that have been targeting you, spun in part by folks like uh, Mr. Stone, as well as... Um, uh, fueled by Rudy Giuliani and others, um, basically have a tinge of anti-Semitism to them at least? Well, certainly when they involve George Soros, they do. Um, I'd just like to point out that in the early 1900s, the Tsarist secret police produced something called the Protocols of the Elders of Zion, which actually you can still obtain on the internet, and you can buy it actually sometimes in bookshops in Russia and elsewhere. This is the longest-running anti-Semitic trope uh, that we have in history. And the trope against uh, Mr. Soros, George Soros, was also created for political purposes. And this is the new Protocols of the Elders of Zion. These... I'd actually intended to write something about this before I was actually invited to come into the administration well, because it's an been... absolute outrage. I'm, I'm sorry you've been kind of wrapped up in these uh, crackpot conspiracy theories. Let me turn to uh, Rudy Giuliani. You became increasingly concerned about Rudy Giuliani's inc you know, increasing role in Ukraine between January and March of 2019, correct? That's correct. And I, I know you served in the Bush and the Obama administrations. I presume that George Bush's personal lawyer and President Obama's personal lawyers were never you know, directing or heavily influencing Ukraine policy. I'm not even sure I know who they were. So the answer is no. And the, the concern for having someone like Rudy Giuliani um, having a, such a strong influence on American foreign policy is that, you know, basically that policy may be operating not in the best interest of America, but perhaps in the best interest of Rudy Giuliani or his clients or business associates, right? I think that's correct. And that's, as I said in my deposition on October 14th, that frankly, that's what I thought it was at the very beginning when I first heard Mr. Giuliani making these statements. And some of those associates included indicted folks, uh, Igor Fruman and Lev Parnas, isn't that right? That's correct. We have an interesting character in Chicago who's now been indicted. His name is Mr. Furtash. And Mr. Furtash has been indicted for federal bribery charges, another associate of Giuliani, right? I do know Mr. Furtash, that's correct. I know of him from my work, that's correct. And the question that we're all asking is, 
whether American foreign policy in Ukraine is potentially being run in their interests and not our own. It certainly appears that it is being used, that there's a subversion of American foreign policy to push these people's personal interests. Thank you so much.